For this episode of Leader Profiles, we travel to Richmond to visit Mount Alvin Elementary School. My name is Katherine Acosta Verprascus, and I was a 2009 Bay Area Corps member. It's a big responsibility, but it's one that I really wanted to have. I wanted to widen that impact to see how a whole school can be transformed when all the people in that building are led by someone who is really thinking critically about how students can learn as fast as possible and really seeing the potential in students. Richmond for me is not just a place I work. It is a place where my husband and I bought a house. We live here, this is our community. Um, it's where our friends live, it's where my friends work, it's where my children will eventually go to school. We're deeply committed to seeing this space, the community, be successful um, because this is our home. I think it's really important to have voices of all stakeholders, so not just teachers, but students and families and just anyone who really has a skin in the game so that it's not just Catherine's plan, right, the school leader's plan, it's all of our plan um, because I could go away and you don't want the systems that have really helped us to be successful to pull apart. We want our school to continue to thrive. We have many schools that are operating with whole schools that are significantly behind. And so this paradigm that we've thought of of schools just can't stay the same. It needs something changed. I feel like teachers and principals need to be given the freedom and flexibility to think about something totally different. There's no easy fixes to these problems. My recommendation to someone who really wants to make an impact would be to put in the time and get to observe and notice what the problems are, to get to know the people, to build relationships, to keep working on solutions so that our students are eventually able to get the type of education that they deserve. Mm -hmm.